Across the country, meanwhile, the war on statues continues. They're not alive, but they're being fought anyway. And it's being waged in the wake of events in Charlottesville and Durham. In the city of Houston, a man called Andrew Skenek has been arrested for allegedly trying to blow up a statue of Dick Dowling. He was a Confederate Civil War commander. In New York City, the city council speaker, Melissa Mark Viverito, says the city ought to consider tearing down a statue of Christopher Columbus for some reason. Of course, she'll want to rename Columbus Circle as well. And a similar monument was already smashed by vandals in the city of Baltimore, making that city great again, or not. Kurt Schlichter writes for townhall.com, and he wrote that America is bored with fake drama over statues. He joins us tonight. Thank, <laughs> thanks for joining us. What I loved about the piece you wrote is that you've been gone. You said you'd been on vacation or been kind of off Twitter or out of the mix for a week, and you came back and you had fresh perceptions of everything that was happening. And what were they? I, I did. I was off doing a jury trial, which we won, and I was with normal people, Tucker. I was with people for whom politics isn't the be all and end all. I wasn't, I wasn't on Twitter being told by 22 year old uh, uh, guys who've uh, read National Review a little that I'm insufficiently conservative. I didn't have uh, 25 year old aspiring baristas with man buns telling me I'm a racist. It was beautiful. I was with normals. And these normal people are not talking about statues, Tucker. Not a word about statues. No. Not a word about Nazis. Not a word about any of that nonsense. Just good, decent people, especially the jurors in there, doing their job as citizens, uh, trying to do their best. It was inspirational. If my, if my ability to have human feelings hadn't been removed in law school, I would almost shed a tear. <laughs> so what you forget when you're in the middle of the hysteria vortex, where the rest of us have been living over the past two weeks, is that all of this outrage, I mean, I think some of it's probably real, okay? The events in Charlottesville were shocking. I was shocked by them. But a lot of it oh, is manufactured, oh, totally horrible, but a lot of the outrage is manufactured for political ends. This is a political process. They're trying to achieve political goals through this fake outrage. Tell us what you think those goals are. Well, you know, I mean, in your regular life, have you ever met any of these storm doofuses, uh, these doughy goose stepping idiots uh, with no. their uh, tiki torches? Literally I not they have no one relevance time. to my life. And I've known conservatives, never. right wingers, my whole life. I'm 48 years old, and I've never met, one, not even met one person. I'm just being honest, not one person like that. I think I saw one at a distance, and I wanted to throw a beer at him. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just. I think this whole campaign against uh, uh, statues is really kind of an attempt to establish a kind of secular original sin. And in yeah. that way, they delegitimize everybody else and a lot, you know, the rest of us. Uh, and of course, who, who is left to come along and somehow redeem us and make us sufficiently woke? It's the left. So I think it's a power game. It's always a power game. It's always a power game. And you forget that because people are thrown back on their heels by the force of the moralizing, and they forget that the person doing the screaming really has one intention, and that's to seize unearned power, not by creating things or working hard, but by hurting other people. Exactly. You know, it's possible for bad people to utter the words, Nazis are bad, and they're correct. Nazis are terrible. Exactly. But some of these people have their own agenda and they're using this you know this, this chimera of uh, of nazis all you know three dozen of these idiots are, are are supposed to somehow represent everything and we're supposed to throw out our right to free speech we're throw, supposed to throw out our heritage we're supposed to uh, sit and and somehow feel guilty uh you know because the third helping reich is, uh, you know, both of them are marching around. And, it, it, and normal people just aren't buying that. Normal exactly. people see all these idiots and think, they have nothing to do with me. I don't like any of them. Uh, they're, they're, yeah. they're morons, and I want them away from me. Exactly. Kurt, call us next time you get back from a jury trial. I like your impressions. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming on tonight.